Welcome back to Let's Play Grim Fandango. Oh, the coroner's is below the police station. That yeah. makes sense. So once they're done up there, they get shipped down here. Where that bee is going. So we've still got some places to explore, places to go, people to meet. Bacon to eat. Can I go down there? Nope, just go over this way. I'm kind of hungry. I can examine this, though. What is that? I know that statue's supposed to mean something about justice, but I don't know. <laughs> to jump through the hoops for justice, Could be bitch. a statue of a famous Olympic gymnast, I guess. Holding two rings. Mm. That's a big blimp. That is a zeppelin. Or a dirigible. Gotta run up to this blimp before hey, I can look at it. new blimp is already in full operation. Let's just hope they fill it with something non-flammable this time. What? <laughs> what? It only goes to the land of the living, and there's nothing for me there. Wait, what? Why does a blimp go to the land of the living? I don't know. Um, as far as Manny's story, though, uh, when he was talking to Ava, Ava asked if he had anybody in the land of the living to talk to, and he said, nobody I care about. Mm. So he does seem to remember some people some, there. Like, he seems to know something about the land of the living and who he was before, but he doesn't know what he did. So mm. one uh, one of the more popular suggestions as to what he did was that it was an innocent crime. Mm. It was something that was a crime, but he didn't even know he committed it. Which could also explain why he's been in the afterlife for so long. Mm. Hard to work off a crime if you don't even know what you did. How was I supposed to know it was illegal to, se to sell r uh, radioactive material to other people? Like, at what point is it going to... Yeah. At, at what point is he going to atone for something that he never really... did? Yeah, I don't like the green with this stat with this kind of motif here. It's very... Blech. Okay, let's see. We can go up there. What's down here? Oh, this takes us to the cat track. We're betting on cats takes place, because hey. I guess cats in Egyptian underlife. He's moving on his own. Looks like a great night for cat races. Okay, now I can move. One more lap to go. One more lap to go until... Oh no! Clone attacks! Okay, I can go back here. What's back here? I think that's the betting office. Oh, uh, no wait, it's just a corridor. Oh, but. sorry, monsieur, but this is the elevator to the High Rollers Lounge. That's where I'm going. It is members only. You must be new. And you must have a VIP pass to come upstairs. Adieu. Says the guy with the really long skull. Yeah, take that. Bun bun. Okay, now if we come down here. And the crumbie. I'm not sure what I hate more crowds or cats, but I'm definitely not going near either one today. You can see there's stairs here off to the left. That takes us right down here. Ah, okay. Where we were That's the shortcut. Yeah. Very nice. We can also go to the right over there, but first. Uh, Nobody there. Anybody there? Look, I told you, we don't have any kitty hats today. What? <gasps> you have to wait until Tuesday. That's kitty hat day. I don't want a kitty hat. Fine with me. What's your bet then? I don't gamble. It's a conflict of interest for me. Then why did you call me down here? For the friendly conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody there? I told you. I'm not a guy. I'm just going to say the same thing. Winky Tonka. Snowball's chance in hell. Ooh, nice little statue. Wow, somebody really liked this cat. Of note, the Is cats. That the size of the cats here? The cats they're racing are not dead cats. They're not like actual sized skeletal cats. They're demon cats. Oh, okay. I was about to say, it's like, there was not some demon or spirit thing attached to that. This would shit would get weird. Like, I imagine, I imagine these are something like whatever Glottis is. Oh, uh, kind of like 
Yeah. Because that's one of them. The bings that the area summon for some reason. In fact, I think this one is stuffed. Like, I think that's just what they look like. Ah. They don't have much use when they're alive, and stuffed, they don't have much more. Beloved Sandspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia One, on its maiden voyage, crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sandspoof was in the lead. First of all, that would be a lot more tragic if there weren't little cat sounds during the <laughs> whole thing. And the Olivia One, of course, being the, ship the first came. airship. Yeah. Whereas the second one is now being built. I gotta see. Well, I can go over here. Fucci, that smells oh, litter box. It's peor que la muerte. Yeah, that's a big litter box, and that's a lot of cat food. What's that on the tin? Wet foods for winners. Wet foods for winners. I could open it with my teeth, but I'm not that hungry. There's a little thing on it, though. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. I'm taking it. So, you got a can opener? It's my can opener now. Uh. <laughs> this cat litter really needs changing. See? This is why I don't have a pet. He's just really anti-social. I he? just can't bring myself to jump in the giant unclean kitty litter. Which is weird, considering he used to party at the Christmas parties and everything. <laughs> Which makes me wonder, when he was redesigning the place, did he hold a Christmas party and just do really stupid shit? And then... <laughs> okay, I'm trying to think if there's especially anything else for us at the moment. There is, actually, right up here. Wow, Manny Calavera. You never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. There's a that lot of case, sailors Manny, down there, though. why don't you though. stick around until six? That's when I get off. By the way, can you guess what her voice actor, who her voice actress is? Nope. Same woman who does Bobby Hill. Hmm. Ah, Carla. Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. Really quick, before you keep clicking, yes, I realized that says LOL back there, but it's also supposed to stand for Land of the Living, so... Mm. I know there's gonna be smart-ass comments going like, Oh, the lol line. <laughs> What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, uh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I'm just a collector. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? I need it now, though. When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. Sounded a lot of other women. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. I'm sure you are. Well, let's hit it up. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Oh, shit. I like how a strip search with them isn't even that big a deal because they're just skeletons. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. If they're always watching, does that mean there's a little pyramid with an eyeball around here? Sir, hmm. if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. I like how it's all the crap that was actually in my inventory. <laughs> he actually takes it all out. Oh, you're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Dang it. Well, we gotta figure out how to get strip searched. For Anything no other reason but for that metal detector. I want that metal detector. I'm not even right. sure why, but I want it. 
Right, Why just the metal the detector is all we want. Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy, I just want to strangle her. I've tried oh, that. I know that doesn't feeling. Stop her. So, is it time for your break yet? I told you not till dawn. Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? Wait, was that stack of letters something you could check out? A lot of paperwork. A lot of passengers. Everybody's back home but you and me. Hey, hey, official documents. Don't touch. I'm touching it. Is that a hatch or something? I'm going into the back room and nobody can stop me. Oh, well, she didn't stop you, so. on them. Employees, I don't care who's doing it, but please, stop using the contained detonation chamber to crack open walnuts. Thank you. <laughs> That's what these nutcrackers are made for. Seriously, folks, come on. They're locked. They're lockers. <gasps> oh I get God. it now. Okay, well, not much out there. Ooh. What is that? When did you put in a floor safe? That's our new contained detonation chamber in case someone tries to come through here with a bomb. Since when does Rubicaba have a terrorism problem? This town's changing, Manny. It's getting tougher every day. Strangely, around the same time you showed up. <laughs> I don't it's know if there's a connection or anything. Okay, well, we need a way to to get this thing to trigger even if we have nothing on us hmm. so what we need is something inside of us wait a minute gold is a metal well maybe just a sip ah. delicious and now we have gold inside of us well let's try something Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. And drop your pants and spread them. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a skeleton. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid <laughs> He's you'll have to step into the back with me. I like how it's a perfect Ooh. setup for a dong joke, but yet... You and realize that they're skeletons. The military, and now she's just back here ranting her life at us. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you look. That's interesting. I myself never really cared for figs. Actually, figs are a personal favorite. I always like dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just love mm, prunes? Dates. They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Oh. I like how the <laughs> options keep changing. Mm. She was always forgetting things. Hedwig, now that's an interesting name. I remember one time <laughs> back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. No, 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 no. Ah, six, I had to be six because Mr. Year. Rufus was still alive. Now there was a good dog, Mr. Mr. Rufus. Rufus. He was such a sweet little puppy. We didn't care that he was deaf. I remember I had a dog once. He was as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. And it would come out sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball, which our cat often did. He had I such remember long I had hair. a hairball once. I don't really like long-haired cats, do you, Manny? They're just so... I like short-haired cats. They seem no, less stuck up. No, because the taxidermist charges extra for them. People think I'm stuck up sometimes, believe it or not. No, 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 they really do. I don't no, know No, I just can't believe that. I guess it's because I'm so shy. I was shy all the way through high school. Yes, you seem shy. I never went to a single <laughs> dance. Can you believe it? No, <laughs> don't get me wrong, the boys would ask, but I'd just run away. My mom said I could have been homecoming queen if I'd just smile once in a while. Running away, that sounds pretty good right now. She always said a smile. I don't know, she cuts a hell of a figure in that uniform, so I'm assuming outfit. for a life well, maybe I would have right. very good looking as well. Mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Oh boy. Was I supposed to smile uh, when the cops called uh, us in the middle of the night to tell us to come get you out of the drunk tank? Did maybe we start if something? I had smiled more, Daddy wouldn't have left us. I uh we'd be together. I think right we fit a sore point. You, me, Daddy, and Grandma Hedwig. And Mr. Rufus. Yikes. I love the one option. Maybe Daddy around. left because you wouldn't share things. And, and, and I'd go, Mother! <laughs> I'm so sorry! Maybe you want to be alone now. Help, Mommy! Don't cry. 
I feel we've broken the woman here. Yeah, I was actually supposed to cut this off sooner than I did. Uh, is there some way we can help her? That involves us getting a metal detector? Here, let me hold that metal detector for you while you cry. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Wow, that was a weird snapback. No way. Oh, okay. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. So the only industry in town was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. Actually, you were farther than that in your story. I, I think I've sobered really up cared. by <laughs> this point. I was like dates more. I think oh, a lot prunes. of people would have sobered Don't you up. just love prunes? I think you were just at the part about your metal detector. Are you sure you didn't just come back here for this metal detector? Actually, I did come back here just for your metal detector. But I did enjoy the story. What is Kinda it with you in this thing? I'm sad I sick of it, Manny. made you upset about the whole thing. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Oh, Why no. is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Well, well, um... <laughs> Oh, well, that's another reason to leave town really quick. How about you? <laughs> I don't think she's going to want to talk to us for a while. You wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector around here, would you? Um, I think this I'm is gonna about as far as we're going to get with that. I'm going to come back later. Yeah. I think it's interesting, though, because, like, Bye, she... Ob Drop dead! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Too late. I think it's interesting, though, because, like, she obviously had some kind of crush on you, and you were obviously always so hung up on Meche that nothing ever came of it. Yeah. And, like, even the end that, like, everybody always wants the same thing, except you! <laughs> okay, I'm trying to remember how to... Oh, wait, no, it was down here. Yeah. We gotta get to where the cats were. It was down and to the... Back and to the right. <laughs> What's this red dot well, on the back of my head? That's the hole I saw Carlos' metal detector fall through. Oh no. Yep. Yeah. Better get, that better get that hand sanitizer, buddy. Well, it is a metal detector. <laughs> I know. Let's chainsaw the shit out of this thing. Hey, I hear it beeping. And we have metal. I don't want to mess up my blade. Aha! Uh -huh. Got it! That was pretty quick. Hey, a metal detector. Who would have thought? I think you can examine in a couple of places, but I just saw the little cursor pop up on that spot, so... but it could be worse. Yeah, it could be smashed over your skull right now. Alright, well, we have a metal detector. Go us! Yeah, why did we need the metal detector? I don't know yet. But hey, we got it! That's yeah, cool, right? That always helps. Okay, so we gotta work on the bees, so we gotta get to... That's not where I wanna go. Wait, 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 wasn't the corner... Wait, there's another... Yeah, another bedding slip area. Hello? Oh, hi! Bedding stub, please. What? I need the bedding stub for the race you're interested in. Interested oh, this is where you turn in to oh. see what you want. Interested in the photo finish file for, of course. Oh, I, I don't have a bedding stub. Oh, okay. Bye. Please do not oh. leave children. At least he was nicer than the other guy. Yeah. Wasn't the coroner looking for metal stuff on those bones? He was looking for something. I don't know if we can especially do anything over there right now, though. Hmm. So let's see here. We needed... But it's a fawn. Yeah, it's something to keep in mind. So let's see here. We needed the CB tools, mm -hmm. which we got to get a hold of a lawyer before we do that. And I've not seen a lawyer. So we'll worry about that one later on well, when we know where the lawyer is. There is the VIP section we haven't yeah. gone to, and I'm assuming lawyers are very, very important people, so... Yeah. We but haven't that's seen the only place yeah. we haven't gone into. Yeah, we haven't been. We haven't seen him yet, so I can only assume he's somewhere we haven't been. And the only place we haven't been is there, at least that I'm aware of. Um, we also need the union card. The union card. And we need to take care of that one sailor. So let's go talk to. Go talk to Chinchilla. 
Chinchilla, Chinchilla Charlie. I thought it was Chowchilla. Chowchilla Charlie. That's it, yeah. Let's go talk to Chowchilla Charlie. What's worse is I forgot the Charlie part of his name. <laughs> I know it was alliteration, but... Oh, wait, no, I'm going the wrong way entirely. Oh, well. We all get to suffer through it now. I do need to go up here, though. <gasps> because going up here takes us... Oh, back to back. our club. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, that's where we were at, where we met the captain. He was talking with Gladys over the bone wagon. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we fall off the ledge again. Aye! Gross. How long was that raven sitting there? Probably enough to poop in it. Which is weird, because you look through it anyway. Lola, Lola, where are you? We do also still have to find Lola. Yeah, we Because she to... ran off and... How do I leave? <laughs> Where's the edge of the screen? Oh, God! Yeah, because she ran off, and I'm somewhat, at least reasonably concerned for her safety. I'm sure we'll that get... That was the woman who took the picture of the two, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll get to her eventually, I suppose. Hopefully before anything bad happens. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny! I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Oh, man. Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang, I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me hear. No, no. I don't know. I kind of like her. Be quiet. <laughs> here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes. But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system. Well, crap. Well, can we at least have the thing? It was empty. Oh. But we have a metal detector. Nah. But Ooh, it, wow, did you slide down those stairs? Yep. Slide down the rail. This is my place. I can be fancy if I wanna. Alright, Charlie. You've got something Manny. that we may or may not want. Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Why are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? The first one, huh? Can hate you sailors. do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. Well, you need to be president. Be and why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here. Take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. Hey, it's let exactly me in there what anymore. Mean. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. Okay, and you can get me a right. card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. <laughs> like you try to take it from him, but he's doing that. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a VIP card. That's pretty spiffy. Well, that means we can get to the VIP lounge Le now. Le Take hey, a look at this card. We get anything else interesting I haven't examined? Well, you didn't examine this. But, well, it says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. You didn't examine the uh, the printing thing. Next beach I see, I'm finding me a watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't me examine this. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. That's the, the VIP, VIP card. The VIP pass for the High Rollers Lounge that Chow Chilla Charlie gave me. Ooh. Better not show that to Gladys. Hmm. Let's show it to Gladys. That that obviously be a good idea, right? I'm 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 certain Gladys didn't mention any gambling problems or anything like that. Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours. Do you? I don't know. I. I try to stay away from that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Gladys? Compadre? I think he may have a gambling problem. He, he just may. Well, we should probably chase after him. Yeah, I guess. Get to that VIP lounge. <laughs> I'm assuming the guy's not in the elevator anymore after <laughs> Gladys smashed through it. Just laying off to the side in a heap. Oh, uh, spirit smashed. Boy, this is a long trip to this place. Yeah, thankfully we've got 
Or at it's at least vaguely nearby. Vaguely. And by vaguely, I mean, I'll... Where the crap are you going? Oh, apparently just goes around the I think Yeah, I think he was going to try to go up and around. He's going to go around the staircases. Which oh, seems man, a little unnecessary, places. considering that will exert more energy in the hole. No, pathfinding, yo. Yeah. Oh my goodness, why is this place so far away? <laughs> why didn't I invest in a damn bike? How did Gladys make it this far so fast? Oh, uh, he is a speed demon. <laughs> For driving? Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Yep, oh, yep, yeah, there. Let me get in here. Boy, he has to come down all fancy-like after sweating, I think. Oh, yeah, the guy's not in there. Oh, oh there's Gladys. Yeah! Well, Gladys is up there, and he's having a grand old time. And we've now got a whole new place to go, explore. Go, go. Maybe we'll find that lawyer we need. Maybe. Maybe he's right off screen. 